First Thessalonians chapter 5, Holman Christian Standard Bible. About the times and seasons, brothers, you do not need anything to be written to you, for you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come just like a thief in the night. When they say, Peace and security, then sudden destruction comes on them, like labor pains come on a pregnant woman, and they cannot escape. But you, brothers, are not in the dark, for this day will overtake you like a thief. For you are all sons of the light and sons of the day. We do not belong to the night nor the darkness. So then, we must not sleep. Like the rest, we must stay awake and be serious. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, we must be serious and put on the armor of faith and, and love on our chest, and put on a helmet of the hope of salvation. For God does not appoint us to wrath but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we will live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, as you are already doing. Now we ask you, brothers, to give recognition to those who labor among you, and lead you in the Lord and admonish you, and to regard them very highly in love, because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we exhort you, brothers, warn those who are irresponsible, comfort the discouraged, help the weak, be patient with everyone. See to it that no one repays evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good for one another and for all. Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in everything, but this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Don't stifle the spirit. Don't despise prophecies. But test all things. Hold on to what is good. Stay away from every kind of evil. Now may God, the God of peace himself, sanctify you completely. And may your spirit, soul, and body be kept sound and blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. Brothers, pray for us also. Greet all the brothers with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this letter be read to all the brothers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.